What do we got here? Ah. It's Link's crossbow training. I got it. The game I avoided playing for years. So why did I avoid playing this? I don't know. Well, I have plenty of reasons, actually. It just looked dumb. What is Link training his crossbow for? I don't know how I feel about the sensitivity of this thing. Let me move back a little bit. I just... Okay. Oh, so <laughs> Link A, Link B, Link C, Link D, Link E, Link F, Link G. It's like green Mario all over again. Um... This is how Luigi was born, remember. Luigi was only born because they needed another Mario for, like, two-player mode. Weirdly enough, this has been a request. And... I know this was one of the things to sell this stupid Zapper peripheral, which, by the way... I bought a copy on Amazon... for, like, 14 bucks. It does not appear to be the original uh, device, and it's still too much. But, you know, I was told I would enjoy more. In my quest to have played everything Zelda related, I couldn't just continue skimping on crossbow training. So, I'm not crazy about the aiming. Maybe I need to move this back a little bit. I have the sensor bar. It's like... really... So, welcome to the next hour and a half of the stream, everybody. Well, they, they really be reusing them Twilight Princess assets. So this was like, um... Didn't this come with the Zapper? I remember seeing this in the store for like five bucks. Like the disc itself. And I think I have the disc somewhere, but... I really could not be arsed to get my Wii set up. So... Oh, Dante. Hey, you know what would be cool? I thought that Dante emote was the, the weird alien dude. Do I have that emote? The alien from Link to the Past? That like, oh... When you... Wow, that was loud. Uh, when you play that game with the arrows. Vinny, the game is kind of loud. The fucking alien that hits the drum. And he goes... Sen. There you go. I need that as an emote. That little gif. If anyone knows how to make such things. Not the Oku from Twilight Princess. So the Zelda cycle is that Breath of the Wild bad. I know that. But did you know what the current cycle says? For which Zelda game is best? It's this one. You know how every couple of years the opinion on the best Zelda game changes? You get an automatic crossbow, okay. Okay, if you say so, game. I don't know why I'm insistent on playing all the, sh the weird, pointless Wii games that I missed, but... Here we are. This is just Vampire Survivors 3D.
Did I did I win? Target score is 20,000. That's probably not happening. Move using control stick to defeat 25 Bulbins. Well, I see they, they attempted to do something a little bit more... I don't know. Interesting than just standing still and shooting. So why are we training Link? Because I don't remember there being a crossbow in any future Zelda games. So he gets all this training and then he never uses it. Big score, that's nice. When do I get to upgrade my garlic? not terrible. It's better than I thought it would be, truthfully, but it's still kind of a nothing game. It's just aim and shoot. This could have been anything other than Zelda. For fuck's sake. Is this like the Call of Duty thing where you have to shoot Kong in the balls for like XP grinding? Because I did that and Kong did not have balls. I just want to throw that out there. I tried to farm Co King Kong's balls, and it, it did not work. I just unmuted your stream and I heard King Kong's balls. You have to hit the target score to unlock more levels. I'm trying. Vinny, why did you shoot the X? Well, X marks the spot, my, my friends. I mean, I could think of worse asset flips, but, you know, for a game that... Ended up being like five bucks not very long after this. It seems okay ish. And hey, it's more Toilet Princess Link. I like that the, the crossbow itself looks like the Wiimote a little bit. 
why are, are you using the Wii Zapper shell? I am using a bootleg Wii Zapper shell that is clearly very cheaply made, but gets the job done. You gotta work on combos where you hit consecutive targets without missing. Oh. Any relation between the Toilet Princess and the Diaper Chief? You know, Link, have you ever heard of the Toilet Princess? Toilet Princess? I mean... Right! Yes, that one, Link. It's like play pigeon shooting. Nintendo was like, man, Duck Hunt just would have been so much better with li with Link in it. Oh shit. I had a good combo going. I understand now. I think I, I got the target score. I do like Twilight Princess's um, general vibe. It's not my favorite Zelda game, but... No, I like it. I kind of have to concentrate, otherwise I would tell you about vampire survivors. And how I get it now. I understand why it has sucked the lives out of my friends. Does that kill your streak? Oh yeah, that's right. Miyamoto didn't want a story for this game. Oh, I met the target score. I met a uh, platinum. Wow, we're gonna get platinum. Um, shoot the fruit balloons as they float into the air. Yeah, they were gonna do a side story. Um, like fruit ninja. But Miyamoto did not want any story. He's like, we don't we don't play video games for story. And I'm li I'm like, you know what, Miyamoto? That's been my philosophy for years. Ah, I missed that one. But no, I mean, it would have been nice to have a little something here. I, I don't think I don't think. I, wow, I said that weird. He even wanted boss battles in this game. They had to fight for boss battles, if I'm not mistaken. So even though this is kind of cool on its own, as just a thing, 
I feel like, yeah, there could have been a lot more. Why is Link in Disneyland? Because it was a subtle nod to the fact that in a couple years, Disney will own Nintendo. It's not even worth going for the Scarecrow. Which, as we all know, walks at midnight. It's really not even worth it. I just want to shoot like crazy, but that's not how you're supposed to play this game. needs more typing and zombies. Platinum. Metal. How do you situate your microphone for a game like this? I have a headset. I've been using a headset for years. I, I think... For a short time I was using a microphone on a, uh, on an arm. But I just don't enjoy it as much as the headset. I like being able to move my head around. I like being able to, um, I don't know, have free range of cock movement. All right, Zora River target practice. Oh, I like this music. Free range chickens is what I'm talking about, chat. What are you thinking? Free, I said free range cock, like a chicken. They get to roam around wherever they so please. Can't read you right now anyway. So, Vampire Survivors, I recorded a video on it, and I was afraid of that game, A, because it looked like shit, and also because it, you know, had borrowed assets, and also because, um, I knew I would get hopelessly addicted to it, as I've seen so many others. Ah, shit. And yep, it took one play session, and then I ended up playing it on my own, and I'm like, uh-oh. So, yeah, it's, it's really addictive. I get it. It's a psychological sham. Make no mistake, there isn't much game other than move, but it just, like, psychologically, like, beats you into submission with its crusty fake alucards. Uh. Cause you see the numbers go up. You see the numbers go up, and then the numbers go up more, and then you unlock more stuff, and the numbers continue to go up. But it is extremely entertaining for what it is. I get it. But as I describe it... It's just like... Why do humans get so tricked by games like that and Cookie Clicker and shit? Damn it. Where are we? Are we in Hyrule Castle? Like... Did they build any new environments? They did build some... the graveyard part. No, they just reused whatever they could. 
well, Nintendo's upper management was probably very happy about this. And then they were like, we sell you piece of plastic. Did you like it? So it's two hits per spider. At least there's stuff like this where you can move around and you actually, like, you feel like Spider Link. It, it is more boring playing the game like this, but more challenging. And I'd rather just, like, shoot like crazy scores is, is very high when you do it like this. There's a spider somewhere around here. I don't know where it is. Oh shit. Chad, I lost the spider. I don't know where it is. Use the radar. Yeah, no, no, I've been. I've been. What's the name of your headset? 100% would not recommend this headset. In fact, I've had people recently, someone emailed me, was like, Vinny, I bought the headset you use and I regret it greatly. So do not get this headset, but it is an AKG HSC 271 or something like that. It's meant for sporting events and I would not recommend it because it is a very specific type of thing. And you need a mixer, and you need virtual audio cables, and you need post-processing, and, and it's just not great. It will give you a headache, and my setup is dumb. So here's this music. Here's these weird free-range cocks. Still one of the weirdest things the Zelda series has dabbled in. It's these little weird Escher chickens. People want to talk about Star Wars. I have not seen any of the new trailers. Let's wait until the Star Wars stream. Obi Wan premieres tomorrow. I know. Well, here's what I will talk about is I did see the video of Harrison Ford on stage talking about John Williams and then they played the music and then they said 2023 Indiana Jones 5. Oh shit, it's Tremors. That movie has been in development for a long time. And I have no faith it'll be good, but it probably won't be worse than Crystal Skull. Which, in and of itself, is more mediocre than bad, but...
I mean, it's not great. But, uh, yeah, it, you know, he's, he's approaching 80, and he's doing Indiana Jones again. Harrison Sand is so cool. Someone in chat said Harrison Ford hasn't had a solid shit in 20 years. Now, did you mean hit, but said shit? I can just imagine Harrison Ford, like, pooping rocks. Or, to take it more literal, it's just wet. Always. Now you know why Harrison Ford is so grumpy. And, like, people keep telling him, Harrison, you should... you should eat more fiber. You need more fiber in your diet, diet Harrison Ford. But he's stubborn, and he hides under the floorboards, and does not want to do so. Do you lose your combo when you get hit? Fuck, man. Oh, I guess they have X's on the barrels. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I don't think we're gonna do this. I mean, this game is a pretty good excuse to listen to Twilight Princess music, at the very least. Also, someone emailed me and told me that they have a newborn child, and they refer to them as their little diaper chief. That's not okay. That is intellectual property. I own the diaper chief. What other things are there in this game? I guess that's it. I'll claim the baby like Disney's trying to claim that Winnie the Pooh horror movie. I guess they couldn't lobby to get... ...the copyright... ...uh... ...law extended further. Who owns Winnie the Pooh? I, I don't think it was Disney. I mean, I just assume everything is owned by Disney these days. But there's like a fucking horror movie... ...starring Winnie the Pooh. looks awful. Well, I mean, there's only like a picture. I don't I don't think there's any video yet, but This is why more ne more things need to become public domain. I want to see Mickey Mouse in like you know, Fast and the Furious as the villain. Mickey Morbius. Mickey Morbius exactly. The mouse will never be free. Well, no, Disney can just change laws. They can lobby. They don't- they don't really have to worry about that. They just keep- keep spending money and- and the copyright laws will get extended until the next two years. A more billion amount of time. Ten more billion years Mickey Mouse copyright laws. I didn't mean to shoot when I did then, and I lost the combo.
I mean, at least it feels like classic light gun games to a degree. At times. There's there's definitely some attempt at, at keeping this kinetic and, and, like, interesting visually. You're still just shooting with a fucking weird crossbow, but, you know... Let's just say, before I knew this was the case, I literally just thought it was Link standing in place shooting targets. As that was the whole game, in my mind. See, what would make this even cooler is if there were, like, secret collectibles throughout the worlds. Where you'd, like, have to, like, search. And then you could, like, unlock a new hat for Link. Or something. Also, I've been watching, so, a couple things. One, Kids in the Hall documentary is great. I think it's called Comedy Punks or something. Really good. And I finally am up to like episode four of the new show. And it is fantastic. R really, genuinely, I don't think they've lost a step. Like, I think they're almost as funny now as they have ever been. And it makes me remember why I love sketch comedy. Because I used to watch a lot of Kids in the Hall, old SNL with, like, Dana Carvey. I used to watch, um... Well, still do watch Monty Python from time to time. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. My favorite sketches are... The Clown Sketch. Bingo? Alright, the Clown Shoes Sketch. Yeah, Whitest Kids You Know were great. Rest in peace, Trevor Moore. I did watch some Mad TV. Watched some Mr. Show, of course. Uh, but yeah, the, the clown sketch I enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed, what was it? The, um... The Doomsday DJ? Holy shit, that's a good sketch. It's not so much funny as it is just like, oh. Yep, I watched In Loving Color, too. Um, there was another one that I really liked. Well, the, the, the glory hole? <laughs> Yes, the glory hole sketch was very good. I didn't watch a ton of... Mr. Show. I need to watch more of it. They revived it, too. This is a real Zelda game, goddamn right. Base dead. But seriously, the the amount of positivity I've seen for this game like surprised the fuck out of me. I thought it was regarded as like ah fuck. I thought it was regarded as like a gimmick game and that was it. But the amount of recommendations I've received for this, and like, whenever I bring it up, people are like, No, it's good, actually. Okay. Vinny, you played Orc Massage before you played this. Yeah, I guess that's the new thing is... Vinny played Orc Massage before Insert Game Here, and that's just like... Meme template.
there was another Kids in the Hall sketch that I, I liked, but I don't remember. What, I re remember thinking I want to mention it, but then I forgot what it was. Yeah. I'm, um, no, it's from like episode two of the show, the new, the new season. I don't remember. I'll have to think about it a little bit. The doctor one, that one was pretty good. I'm crashing your head. I do like that one, but that's that's a classic. Vineyard Picard when? No. No, chat member, no, no. I understand that my suffering is funny. But not even that do I think is funny. It's just pain. Instead of like 14 hours of Morbius, it would be just like a fucking marathon of every Picard episode. I didn't get the bonus. Am I gonna do a video discussing Better Call Saul at some point? Um... I'll consider it. Maybe at the end of the series, I'll do like a... complete Saul discussion. I don't know why people would want that from me. I'm not- I'm not smart. I don't... But alright. I'll, uh, sure. I can... Listen, you can get me on certain topics for like two hours, easy. Oh, I do like this music a lot. I don't know if this is an underrated theme, because people do know it, but I think this is a fucking phenomenal world map theme. Or overworld theme, rather. But yeah, I can- I can do that. When the show is over, I can do a quick Breaking Bad recap into a full Saul discussion, because I do think it's gonna go down as one of my favorite shows. Shit. Everybody, it's me, Lalo. It's my stream now. I'm just morbing it up for Vin until he gets back. I like when um, Lalo was talking Spanish and then he said something, 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 Werner Ziegler, and then back to Spanish.
But man, what a fucking phenomenal actor Tony Dalton is. Jesus. Plays that part perfectly and does what I don't think at most other villains could do in the whole Breaking Bad run. Good enough. Vinny, thoughts on Chuck? Michael McKeon is amazing. I've loved Michael McKeon since... Jesus, since old SNL and Spinal Tap. And, uh... X-Files as well. I hate Chuck. But I get it. Especially now, I get it. And he really, really, like, he's completely... multi-dimensioned. Did his armor become a bat? But yeah, I mean... You know what? I can't even say I hate Chuck, really, because... That's like a really surface level take. And the more you learn about their dynamic, and like him, and, and his like fear of losing control, and just... You know, yeah, he was kind of right. He had his own issues. He did some stupid, slimy, grimy shit, and he should have supported his brother more, but... He was also... You know, just a dude who was trying to find his place in the world like most people, and I think he... He knew what would happen with Jimmy. Anyway, uh, for people that don't know Better Call Saul... I'm sorry. You want to hear me talk about poop dick instead, I know. Oh, I didn't kill him. Better call poop dick is the real, the real good stuff. Should I go back and, and try to kill that dude? Watch Saul before Breaking Bad. I think you can, but... I want to just go back and try to kill that enemy. I would recommend Breaking Bad first, because... It's designed to be that way, and also you get a lot of context. Like, the show spoils Breaking Bad. Because the audience knows it. So why would the show pretend like these events didn't happen, you know? That and Breaking Bad is just amazing, so I'd, I'd recommend watching... Do what I did, which is just watch a couple episodes of Breaking Bad, get utterly addicted, and then finish the whole show and all of Saul in, like, two months. Or you can be like Walt Jr. Wake up, ask for breakfast, complain, leave episode.
Gus wants us to make mac and cheese. Well, I, I hear Gus's spice curls are unbelievable. Like, I would be eating at Los Pollos Hermanos. I really would. Automatic has the, the potential to ruin streaks pretty easily. Doing better at least. Vinny, do I need to watch Better Call Saul before playing Orc Massage? Yes. Do these levels bring back Twilight Princess memories? It brings back good memories. Like, because I don't view this as like, hey, where's the next Zelda game? Why am I getting Link's crossbow training? Like, when the game first came out. So that bias is long gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for a thing like this, you don't want to like you don't want to do one shot at a time. You could, I mean, you could, but it's it's actually more advantageous to just go mental, I think. This could have so easily been a Metroid game too. Well, it was in Nintendo Land on the Wii U. Not kill goats, tried. Bombs are not good on this level because ah, uh, you get like smoke and then you can't see where the enemies are. Skull Kid's creating havoc with his army of puppets. Take them down. I'm sorry, which Skull Kid is this? It's 
skull fuck? I can't believe Nintendo would name the character something so edgy and yet so perfect. Fossil Stall Lord battle. It's the final battle. Crush the Fossil Stall Lord before time runs out. I think Miyamoto was like, okay, you can have a boss, but only one. And then they were like, okay, and then they added two bosses. And Miyamoto never spoke to that team again. I was gonna try to, like, rack up a high score via the multiplier. Not for this. It's another hands boss. Kind of. Cool poses. Man, Nintendo should change their uh, their name. They love hands so much. They should change their company name to Mr. Hands, right? All right. to go back to level one. You sounded like Bill Burr when you said right. Right? Wow. What a noticeable difference this is, holy fuck. I need that, like, Babby crying sound effect. For when cool stuff like this is occurring in a video game.
Not bad. Vinny, shoot all the pumpkins. I didn't want to lose my streak. Is he using the mouse or is he just cunked? No, I'm using the uh, actual Wiimote. With an actual um, sensor bar. In an actual real fake Wii Blaster. Whatever the fuck it's called. Oh man. I didn't even shoot all the boners. The auto shot, you can get... You want some galaxy brain tips with the auto shot, you can get up 50 times multiplier on the shield guys. Oh, that makes sense! Ah, oh, yeah. I'm still messing up the multiplier. I did what I wanted to do, which is get a medal on every stage. Sure, they're not all Platinums. That's fine. God, it's like playing Wii Sports all over again. Wow, look at that. I'm the top players. So I did okay for my first time. Though, people in chat were like, Vinny, you should use the mouse, it's easier. But I wanted to get the full Lynx crossbow training. Wait, 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 this is weird. This is Lynx crossbow training, and there's a practice mode? So you're practicing for the training? Oh, you can practice specific stages. Is there a secret level? Chat, is there a secret level? I didn't know there was multiplayer either. Is it on the sixth floor? Well, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the whole thing. So you get about an hour of gameplay out of this. Vinny, you have to platinum every single stage. Are you serious? Is that real? Wow. 
Well, now we're all over the place. Wow. It was okay. How much was this sold for when it released? It came packaged with plastic. Play another light gun game like Boom Blocks. Um, maybe I'll put together a segment. Let's see. Lynx. Crossbow training sales numbers. I'm just curious. 3.36 million copies. Wow. Launch price. Again, I saw it for five bucks. Like, for years. So... I don't know how much it launched for, but uh, I can't find that information. I think it was like 30 bucks, and you get the thing and the game. 40. Apparently, wait, 20? It was free with the zapper. Well, I mean, is it though? So it was 20 to $40, and it came with a zapper. It was free with the zapper, or the zapper was free with the game. I don't know. It came packaged with a Wiimote when I got it. No zapper. Alright. Well, let me say some things about the game, uh, having experienced it. You know, if you want to go for high scores and stuff, it's not terrible. If you want the zapper anyway, I guess, get the game. The zapper is a piece of plastic. I don't know why anyone would, like, need this, but... There's a game called Dead Space Extraction, which I really liked, which was a light gun game on, on the Wii, that... I think is maybe one of the better light gun games on the entire console. So that is something I'd recommend if you're into that sort of thing. And it's actually a pretty decent Dead Space game. Uh, Sin and Punishment on the Wii was also excellent. I'd never played the Resident Evil games, but I heard, heard those were good. So yeah, this is not really much of anything other than like shoot and kind of Zelda nostalgia. You get about an hour of gameplay and more if you want to go for Platinums. So, yeah, not much to it. It reminds me of something that would have been included on a minigame collection. Like, Wii Sports Resort had all these games that were packaged together, and it made the whole thing just work. Whereas Link's Crossbow Training should have came with Link's Roomba. Oh, sorry, Zumba. Different thing. It should have came with uh, Link's Cappuccino Training for, like, Starbucks. It should have come with, uh, insert dad joke here about Link doing some kind of menial task. And, uh, then it would have been a lot better, I think. So. Not really much else to say. I don't regret playing it. It was an hour of my time. It was Zeld. And now, I've played the missing Link. And I wasn't planning on saying that. And I'm not proud of myself. Link's Massage. Let's see, Link's Viscera Cleanup. Link Skywalker's Jedi Training. Link's Landscaping Service. Link Sells You Dollar Shave Club. Club. Uh, Culb. All right, uh, chat, do you want to win? Do you like video games? Oh, I know you do. I know you do, but I need a moment. All right, I have some video game keys that I'd like to give away now because I haven't had a chance to do this. And since I finished Link's crossbow training earlier, and very quickly, we can do a raffle. So I'll tell you how this works. Okay, I'm going to be using Nightbot. 
and we're gonna do a giveaway. So I'll tell you the games. I have two games I'm giving keys for. Wingspan and Dune. The new Dune game, Spice Wars. So I have a bunch of Wingspan codes. I know Wingspan won't be for everyone. It is a game about birds and cards. I think it's pretty cool. Some of you may not like it. These are switch codes. So we're going to start with Wingspan. And it's a switch code only. Not PC. Not Sega Saturn. Not Atari Jaguar. Not the play date. It's for the Nintendo Switch gaming console. So you need one of those if you want to enter this contest. Please. Please do not enter if you have no interest in birds, cards, or Nintendo Switch. But if you want a code for Wingspan Nintendo Switch, I have to repeat this several times. Um, if, if you want a code, there's going to be a keyword. And that keyword will allow you to enter. Okay, so there will be anti-spam prevention. So if you enter the keyword too many times, you will be disqualified. The keyword will be exclamation mark morb. And... Go. Type it only once. Exclamation mark morb. Lowercase. I, th I don't think it's case sensitive. It is not case sensitive. So lowercase morb. If you want a wingspan... Nintendo Switch game key. I will be DMing you on um on the chat here in Twitch. I know many people won't be interested, but the wingspan people just sent me a fuckload of keys for this game. So We're going to do a different keyword for Dune. So this is only for Wingspan. For those that don't know, this is a game where you play cards. There are birds on the cards. I think it's pretty cool. You get bird facts. You get bird noises. Um, the game is fun. It takes about, you know, 45 minutes to learn, I think. It took me about a half hour, 45 minutes. And it wasn't, it wasn't too bad, but I got really addicted to it for a, l a little while. So... All right, in five seconds, I'm going to call the first winner. And please enter your morbs, but do not repeat the word morb, because if you do, you may be disqualified. Exclamation mark morb one time, and you could win yourself a bird. A real bird. You ready? In five, four, three, two... Morb. First winner is Bugs in the Sink 22. Okay, congratulations, Bugs in the Sink. Here's what you're going to do check your Twitter messages, right? And then the code should work. Let me know you got the message. Okay, so let me know that you see the message, which is the key, and then message me back. Say, Vinny, I got the message. Thank you, or whatever. And then you can just try it out. Ready? Next winner is Big Stupid Jellyfish One. Cool name. You don't have Twitter. No, 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 no. Did I say Twitter? That was a mistake. It's not Twitter, it's Twitch. It is Twitch. I'm not using Twitter. Twitch only. Twitch chat. I said Twitter. I get confused. I'm sorry. I'm old. All right. Okay, big stupid jellyfish. Confirm that you got the uh, whisper on Twitch, not Twitter. Even though Twitter is appropriate for bird game. But anyway, um, let me know you got that message. Bugs in the sink got theirs. Mirkarpi? Mirkarpi? I'm gonna send you. Congratulations. You have won a copy of Bird Cards for Nintendo Switch. I hope you have a Switch, otherwise this will be kind of pointless, but... 
There you go. Big stupid jellyfish got theirs. Very good. Next winner is Lord Malvern. Malvern? Lord Malvern, aka chat member. Congratulations. Let me know you got your message. Next winner is Gat underscore TV, aka chat member. Congratulations, you won yourself a copy of Wingspan Switch. Next winner, please message me when you get this message. Let me know you got it. And acutely morbid. Morb? <clears throat> acutely morbid. Morbid. You won a copy of Wingspan. Thank you to the Wingspan developers for sending me all these keys to give away to the community. Okay, so Mirkarpi got theirs, Lord Malvern got theirs, Gat TV got theirs, and Acutely Morbid- Mor- <laughs> Morb- Bird. I am named John Morbius, and I am a bird. I like to peck. I like to eat seeds and fly around and shit on people's cars. Perhaps you've heard of me. Okay, we're gonna reset, and there's gonna be a new code. The new keyword is going to be exclamation mark Dune. Type it. If you want Dune, which is a 4X strategy game, which is real time and kind of turn based at the same time, it's interesting. I liked it. I don't know if I'm going to be returning to it anytime soon, but I liked it. It's a Steam code. Four X is one more X than three X, which as we know is sex, triple X. So this is, you know, it's gotta be good. Acutely morbid, please let me know if you got the message. Uh, whisper me back. You got it, great, great, great. Okay, cool. So it looks like everybody got it. Um, use the Vine Sauce email which is vinesauce.email, go to that web address. If your key doesn't work, contact me there, and I will message the bird people, and hopefully we'll figure that out. So you can email me and I'll send you a pizza roll. Anyway, <clears throat> God, my voice is very crackly today. It is just voice cracking all over the place. Damn. Okay, so once again, this Dune game is a strategy game. It's on Steam. I played it. If you want, you can watch uh, my video on it. It's like three hours, so I think it's cool. I don't know if that style of game is the one I'd want to continue going back to, but I appreciate the work that was put into it to make it both like... Um, like the Dune movie, the Dune book, and like Civilization and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. All right, if you're ready, we're going to roll a winner in five, four, three, two, one, and DS underscore Yuse. Congratulations. Sorry, everybody that didn't win a key. Let me know you got it. Looks like the bird game actually worked for people, so that's nice. So DS, just whisper me back, let me know you got that message. Try it out, it should work. Thank you for the person that provided the Dune game. I had received it separately and then I had an extra key. So I just wanted to make sure I got rid of these keys so people could play some video games and I wasn't just hoarding them like Smaug. All right, great. All right. Looks like everyone is good. And, uh... And there you go. All right, next key is for Orc Massage. Uncensored Edition. I'm kidding, I don't have a key for that. 
I did, but I redeemed it. And hence why there's a video on it on my channel. Right. Start to keep the past. By building a new school. Build a path by building a new death star. All of the parents will help the jump traders. They will be traded just like things in money. Push down. This is my father. Uh, well, what's wrong? Is my microphone long? <clears throat> okay. So here's the secret chat. I was going to play Backpack Hero tonight or Vampire Survivors. I can't play Vampire Survivors because my first part, which I pre-recorded, has not been uploaded to the Full Sauce channel yet. But there is a really cool game called Backpack Hero that I enjoyed. I'm going to record one of that tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. The reason I would stream Vampire Survivors is because the game is so fucking boring that it would make for a really good back and forth with the chat, like a Q&A stream. So. But yet, it's boring, but it's extremely addictive. Numbers go up, dopamine goes up. It's crazy. It's crazy how much I like playing that game, but how much I hate playing it, but how much I love it, but how manipulative it is. Ah. <sighs>